Well, there's innovation all over business travel. I think uh, from the TMC perspective, we're working on putting together technology services for our clients and our travelers that meet their needs all over the world. Uh, I may live in New York, but we are a global company operating in markets all over the world, providing global services, and trying to link the world with our technology solutions is certainly one of our main investment areas. So do you think that, that, that innovation in business travel is needed more than other areas? Is it more complex as a product? I get a sense it is. Well, innovation is a relative term, and I think it means something different for everybody. Our industry certainly takes a little bit of flack for maybe moving slower than the consumer travel industry, and I think there's some really good reasons for that. Not only our clients when it comes to uh, corporate compliance policy, when it comes to liability, when it comes to safety and security, when it comes to duty of care, when it comes to companies that have programs that span continents, it's harder to innovate in that environment, harder to progress in that environment. But the flip side is we provide a very valuable service to our customers and our travelers, and so we are going to work really hard to make sure that we stay up to pace and lead the way. And, and do you think innovation in today's market is coming from any particular sector? Is it the airlines who are driving innovation or maybe the, the hotels? Is there a particular sector? Well, I think each sector is innovating in its own way, whether it's boutique hotels doing interesting things or airlines increasing the amount of cabins, uh, what's, what you see in business class or basic economy or pricing or loyalty. Everybody's certainly innovating in their own right ground when you look at Uber and Lyft and what's happening with the taxi and, and black car companies. So certainly all suppliers are innovating in their own. From a TMC perspective, from an Amex GBT perspective, I think it's a lot about how we play the, how we represent our buyers, represent our corporate clients and their travelers, and try and bring those solutions together in a seamless fashion. So making sense of the innovation that's out there in the supplier world is one of our big value adds, and tying that together through technology and services. And in the business sector, do you think innovation has maybe, or there's, there's been a push from the consumer sector and the B2C sector? So some of the, the uh, OTAs maybe have pushed uh, innovation into the business sector. Absolutely. I mean, competition is good, and competition sometimes is not your direct substitute. Sometimes it's an it's a indirect substitute. Sometimes a direct substitute becomes, or an indirect substitute becomes direct. So I think, uh, obviously, you know, the, the, as, the, as they say, the tide uh, floats all boats up, and certainly raises the game and raises the stakes for us. So we look at what's happening in the consumer sector, we look at what's happening across competitors in the, in the business travel sector, and we look what's happening in non-travel sectors as well from a technology and experiential standpoint, and have to build an innovation agenda against all of those things, so absolutely. So within Amex, can you give me an idea and, and the viewer here of innovations that have taken place over the last, let's say, eight to eight, sorry, 10 to 18 months? and maybe what's going down the line. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we split off from American Express uh, about 18, no, more than two years ago, uh, about, and as part of that joint venture, 50% owned by American Express and 50% independently owned, privately owned, we've had a, an investment of capital that we've used to innovate and build a technology roadmap uh, for the future. And we're looking at the long play. Sure, you want to come out with bright, shiny objects quarter to quarter, but we're also looking at really the multi-year roadmap on fundamentally fixing a lot of the core technology in business travel that might lead to a, a slower or less innovative historical uh, product development and adoption. So we have a lot going on behind the scenes, but uh, we recently announced acquisition of KDS, uh, booking, booking tool based in Paris uh, with, with a great European footprint and amazing technology, and uh, trying to take that technology, an innovative company, uh, and integrate it into the, into the GBT family to provide benefits both to them and to us is a really positive example of how we're spending capital to innovate pretty, pretty quickly. So talk to me about an event like this with Data Art where it's an open panel discussion. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's definitely space in the lecture format in business travel because uh, a lot of travel buyers, a lot of folks in the industry might be new, might not know historical challenges, and, and it's good to certainly inform and talk. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we have to collaborate. Uh, everybody in the value chain has to get together and collaborate to deliver value to our, each of our independent customers, some of who are the same, some of whom are different. Some of us compete against each other. But, again, as we collaborate together, we create value for the industry overall. And so those types of dialogue, formal and informal, are absolutely vital to our long-term success. Excellent. Thanks for your time, Evan. You're welcome.